If you're looking to buy any of the cards from either this video or any of our other previous videos, in the description below is our affiliate link to TCGplayer.com. TCG Player is a great place to buy any Magic Card singles as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon singles or pretty much any other card game you can find their stuff there. Use our affiliate code IBN, uh, that's IBN for Idiot Brewery Network over on TCG Player. It doesn't cost you anything and it supports the channel in the meantime. Thanks. Cheap lights, uh, engines or sorceries, and cards like Meyer trying to fill the graveyard up. And then it's playing a bunch of random escape cards like this. And it's just trying to create threats that just continuously come back over the course of the game. Or, I've played this, cast this card like four times against my opponent before, and taking eight is not fun for them. And... What's your spice? We gotta see the spice. Gary's the spice. Gary is the spice of life. Truly. This deck has no spice. <laughs> you know, that's how, that is how it is sometimes. <laughs> no, that's about it. All right. That's all this deck does is sits there and... You have a maze of it. Yeah, yeah I why know. didn't you point out the maze of it? I guess. Yeah, I have this thing. Yeah, uh, relevant. Does not untap attacking creatures. That is relevant. I got my opponent. So it's better Maze of Ith is what you're saying. Four for five mana. So it's better Maze of Ith because it does it it doesn't untap. I will not say it's better than Maze of Ith, but you can do some dumb tricks with it. Yeah, so you gave me two of these E2 extinctions. Yeah, I did. You're so good. correct. They're so good. Oh, and oh and this helium. Yeah, the helium, yeah, you know, the, the, the very foil. It is foil. It is Here, I'll take it out of the 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 sleeve there. Oh yeah, that's that's a real beauty right Gotta now. Gotta get that glare into the camera lens. You know, Jack, this is a very bizarre Magic the Gathering game for the pre-release that you and Alan are playing. I haven't seen any of these yeah, cards with the spoilers before. Literally playing a game that is the opposite of Magic. Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes. For this pre-release, I'm playing Obzon in a range. Sounds dumb. It, it kinda is. Uh, so basically, this whole deck, you wanna look at the table? Yeah, this sure. whole deck uh, revolves around um, three things. So it revolves around uh, removal, such as Banishing Light and Revoke Existence, which are cards that just hit a lot of stuff uh, because you know, it turns out a lot of cards are enchantments in this set. Really? It's yeah. almost like it's Theros. Uh, it also runs a lot of uh, card draw and scry, like with cards like Omen of the Hunt okay. and Funeral Rites. All right. Uh, just, you know, to get through your deck really fast. And then it runs, like, good, cheap, efficient cards, like uh, this Daybreak Chimera, or this Sunmade Pegasus, or this uh, 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 Nyx Herald, or this... Uh, uh, Bronze Lion. This is actually the best card in the deck. Uh, turns out this card is really good. Would you say that that card is so good it could defeat Al Qaeda on its own? Yes. Nice. Uh, Bronze Lion. Uh, because he like becomes indestructible, that means they're. RPGs or whatever can in it. Should we deploy Bronze Hide Lion into Iran? Yes. We Thank should you. definitely deploy Bronze Hide Lion into Iran. Thank you, Caleb. All right, Jason, I have a question for you. Sure. Okay, so if God isn't real, then why is God a creature type in uh, Magic the Gathering? Well, Checkmate, see, Jason. You see, in the multiverse, there potentially is an infinite amount of universes in which there is a god and not a god. In the magic universe of Theros and the plane of Theros, there are gods. Therefore, there are multiple gods in this multiverse, but not in every universe. So what you're saying is that atheists are wrong. Uh, I'm saying they're both correct and incorrect at the same time, depending on which universe they're in. All right, cool. Atheists are incorrect in our universe. Thank you, Jason. Uh, I, 